multicolored fabric threads, also known as money, has been woven as a part of the social, political, and economic life of our country. From early midlife, formed to paper notes and coins, money has been one of the living truths of people relating to one another. In the pre-Hispanic era, trade with neighboring islands was conducted through barter. The medium of exchange during this time was any objects worth trading such as gold piloncitos, a bit like gold bits, became known as the means of exchange and as so local numismatists consider it as the earliest coin of the ancient Filipinos. Later in the Spanish era, 1521 to 1897, Afonsino pesos and copper coins of other currencies. The cobs or macuquines of colonial mints were the earliest coins brought in. The silver dos mundos or pillar dollar is considered one of the world's most beautiful printed at a security printing plant starting 1978. During the 1898 to 1899, the revolutionary period under the reign of the Americans in 1900 to 1941, a monetary system was instituted based on gold. Coinage Act for the Philippines was approved in 1903. The Philippine Republic of 1898 under General Emilio Aguinaldo issued its own coins and paper currency backed by the country's natural resources. Pasig River dividing North and South Manila. American tanks and tank destroyers on the north bank of the river fire at last remaining Jap strongholds in the southern part of the city. In the Japanese occupation, 1942 to 1945, because of the outbreak of World War II, the Philippine monetary system was seriously disturbed. Two kinds of notes circulated during this period. The Japanese occupation forces issued war notes in big denominations. Lastly, the Philippine Republic having gained independence from the U.S. following the end of World War II. Currency old treasury certificates were overprinted with the word victory. With the establishment of the Central Bank of the Philippines in 1949, first currencies issued were the English series notes printed by the Thomas De La Rue and Company Limited.
Philippines began in 16th century with the establishment of obras pias by laymen associated with religious orders. The obras pias were then sole source of commercial credit. Obras pias were channeled to the construction of churches, government buildings, and other charitable and religious projects. On August 1, 1851, the first state bank in the Philippines, the Banco Español Filipino de Isabel II. Then, on January 1, 1912, the Banco Español Filipino de Isabel II changed its name to Bank of the Philippine Islands. Isabel, a programmer, wanted to have a loan in order for her to purchase her own desktop, but the only problem is she doesn't have any idea how to inquire a loan. Luckily, she stumbled one of her acquaintances in work who also needs help getting a life insurance. Since you don't have any ideas about finances, how about we go to a bank and ask some information? What do you think? That sounds like a plan. Let's go! So there are four types of credits. First, we have the consumer credit. Second one, commercial credit. Third is investment credits. And lastly, we have bank credit. And according to your needs, Miss Saludo, you are acquiring for consumer credit. Out of the blue question, what are the sources of credit? Very easy. Mostly in banks, business firms, and other institutions that lend funds. What type of bank is this? Of all the banks, the functions, services, and activities we do here, this is a commercial bank. So there are different types of banks? Yes, a commercial bank. A thrift bank, the rural banks. Lastly, we have the specialized government banks created for the specific purposes. These are the Development Bank of the Philippines, the Land Bank of the Philippines, and the Philippine Amana Bank. Um, I almost forgot, where do I go to get life insurance? From depository institution, right? No. You see, depository institutions are those companies that accept deposits, make loans, transfer funds, obtain needed currency supplies, and manage investments. What are you looking for is an insurance company that is considered to be a non-depository institution just like investment companies. Pension funds and mortgage banks and other financial institutions are investment banks. Venture capitalists, brokerage and securities exchanger. So much information was gathered. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you also for having the time and effort for visiting. I hope I'll see you soon in the future. The Banco Central of Filipinas monitors the real estate exposure as part of its broader role of assessing the quality of the banks, exposure to the different sectors of the economy, maintaining high loan quality. So the BSP has four sectors. First is banking sector, resource management sector, then security plant complex, and lastly main bank of the government. Also, the BSP has three pillars. The price stability, financial stability, efficient payment and settlement system. In other news, 